everyone. Welcome back to Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. My name is Amelia Roberts, and I have to admit to you, even though I work in technology, I don't use Excel very often. And the reason is one, my heart is with Power BI, but two, I also don't fully know how to use Excel. So thankfully, Microsoft has come up with a solution for us newbies to Excel, and that is Copilot. Copilot and Excel is what our video is going to be about today. I am going to show you all I know about how to use this tool in Excel and why it has saved my Excel journey. Let's head over to my laptop and check this out. So here we are in Excel. I have a really simple data set here that is just talking about different rides at Disney and how much they cost, what city that they are in. Very plain and simple, not too many rows. This is just for us to kind of give and get an idea of what Copilot can do. I'm actually going to drop this file below this video so you can try it out as well. You can follow along if you want to. And let's go ahead and get started. Before I even open Copilot, I need to make sure that my auto save is on. You do need to have this Excel file saved into your OneDrive and auto save needs to be on for Copilot to be able to work. Up in the right hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and open up Copilot here. And we can see right away, there's our prompt area that we can just drop a prompt in. You're able to use just regular natural language, talk to Copilot like you would your friend, ask for what you want in very plain language. You don't have to use any type of technical jargon to get what you want. And Copilot understands and is able to produce what you want very easily. But we also have these prompt suggestions up at the top. So it says create formulas. It can suggest a formula. It can also look at my data, give me a summarization of what's in there. Advanced analysis. So this is where it is going to be able to write Python for us to create a deeper analysis of our data set here. I can also apply conditional formatting with Copilot. And then I'm also able to ask Copilot any questions that I have in regards to my data set or just in general, this is a great feature if you're getting errors or trying to debug something within your Excel file. A lot of the times you get to that point where you're so frustrated or you're tired, you don't know what to do, you don't wanna fight it. Drop that right into Copilot and say, help me find my error or fix my error. It will be a lifesaver for you definitely a time saver, which is the entire purpose of Copilot. I am going to start by simply asking it to create a formula for me. I'm not even going to have it suggest a formula. I kind of already know what I want. I just don't know how to write the Excel formula to make that happen. So I want to add my cost to make a ride and my cost to maintain a ride together for a total cost of the ride. So I'm going to ask it to create a column for total cost. Now, during this process, after I ask Copilot for something, it is going to use context awareness to look over my entire data set, understand the data that is within this data set, and then it is going to produce the formula and results that I am looking for. So let's take a look at what it brought us. So it says total cost, calculates the total cost of each ride by adding the cost to make the ride and the cost to maintain it. That's actually exactly what I wanted. It is giving me what the formula, the function is going to look like. There's also this show explanation area down here. If I click this, it goes into a little bit deeper of an explanation of the exact columns that it is pulling from. I also have a tiny little preview of what is going to happen in this column, but this is my favorite part. Sometimes I just wanna see what this is going to look like in my data set. So if I go to insert column right here, it is going to insert this column for me if I press that, but I can hover over it and see what it's going to look like in my data set. It looks like this Excel sheet has a little bit of conditional formatting already applied to it. We are actually going to apply some conditional formatting. So 
We're gonna fix that here in a little bit. Let's hit insert column. It looks like it was actually just highlighted for no reason. So that's a good thing. And now my total cost column is here within my data set. Another thing you can do is you can create more columns or you can even create visuals. Now, even though I am a Power BI person and prefer to build out my data visuals in Power BI, I know a lot of you love Excel. Excel is the OG Microsoft tool that everybody knows and loves. And a lot of you have been using it for years and years and years. You love your Excel visuals. I have never made a visual in Excel. So I'm going to ask Copilot to help me do this. Let's say I want to compare my total cost to the cities. So I want to know what the total cost is for each city. I am going to ask Copilot just that. So this says create a visual to compare total cost and city. I'm not very picky about what kind of visual it creates. I just know that I want to compare those two things. Wow, that was fast. And it looks like it created a little bar chart for us. I can go right underneath the bar chart. This is tiny, so I'm gonna add this to a new sheet. And there it is. It's also giving me a small table that kind of breaks down the cost of each one on a more specific level. I love having both of these visuals here so that I have my questions answered very easily. I am going to ask for a conditional formatting prompt next. But the key here is whatever you are going to ask Copilot to do, it is reading the sheet that you are currently working on. If I ask for conditional formatting for a specific column, it's going to look at what's on sheet two here and say, what are you talking about? There is that column doesn't exist. I need to go back to sheet one to be able to continue my journey. So I am going to go up to the top and I'm actually gonna use one of my prompts up here. I'm going to use apply color and formatting. It is simply going to populate my prompt area and it's going to say highlight all cells with a value higher than 10. We'll keep it simple. Now, the problem with this prompt and the problem with the way a lot of people use AI and prompt AI is they are not specific enough. So I'm hoping this is a good example of that I was not specific enough here. I said all cells. When maybe, and actually deep down, I really only wanted to highlight the total cost column if it was higher than 10. Let's see what a very vague prompt is going to get me. It did exactly what I thought it would end up doing. It highlighted way too much. So I'm gonna hit undo and I'm actually going to be a bit more specific this time. So highlight cells in column G with a value higher than 10. Highlight cells in column G with a value higher than 10. Now, I want you to notice that I spelled highlight wrong. I'm going to leave it for this example. Reason being is we're all just human. Every now and then you are going to spell something incorrectly. You are going to use the wrong punctuation. You are going to even sometimes slip up and combine two words together that don't actually make a word. You're gonna forget a space. Copilot still understands what you are putting in. How Copilot has learned is from something called large language models. So it has studied websites and databases and the internet, books, encyclopedias, and videos. And it has learned from these patterns it's found within this data in order to understand natural language that we are putting in. And also, so it can output natural language back to us that we understand. Within all of these things that it studied, it found errors and it understands those errors. Just like something like autocorrect understands when we spell something wrong, Copilot also knows she meant highlight. Even though she spelled it wrong, I know she meant highlight. So let's see what this does now. I was a little bit more specific. It looks like it's getting a little bit closer to what I want. It's saying self value greater than 10, apply this to the total cost. So now it's knowing what column I want to actually do this in. Let's hit apply and hope for the best. Oh, so much better. I absolutely love that. 
What I love even more is now that I have done a few different things using Copilot, it is going to start making suggestions for me based on the data and based on what I have already asked for. So right down here, it says sort total cost from smallest to largest. I didn't even think about doing that. That's such a good idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and it is going to apply this sorting for me. All right, let's hit apply. And ta-da, my total cost is now in order from the lowest to the highest. Perfect, I didn't even think of that one. So that is incredibly helpful. One of the other common prompts that you will see come up on the bottom as you are working through using Copilot in Excel is you can ask it for insights. So usually there will be a prompt that says, show me insights. So I'm going to simply ask Copilot, show me insights and let's see what it gives us. Oh, wow. It gave me a visual even. So it says cost to make ride by city of ride. Okay, so that's similar to what we did. We did total cost by city, but this one's a cost to make by city, which is interesting. And then now that I've asked for one insight, now my prompt is coming up again. Can I see another one? And look how fast this is. Frequency of total cost. Can I see another one? Look at that scatter chart. So cool. You can just keep hitting, seeing different visuals that are created, different insights. These are still pretty basic layer though. So I think I want a deeper analysis of my data. I am going to scroll back to the top and I am going to hit my advanced analysis button. This is where I'm going to get a deeper analysis of what I have here in my data set, which honestly isn't much, so I hope it comes up with something good. And it's going to write Python for me. Python is a type of code that is used in Excel. It's used in a few different places, but it's mainly used by data analysts. So if you're a data analyst, you've probably used Python before. I am not well versed in Python. I've used it on a very tiny minimal level. As I have said, I really don't use Excel that often. So I'm going to have Copilot do this for me. This is great for beginners because maybe you're learning about Python. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you don't use it very often. It can write for you so you can gain a better understanding of what this looks like. What is this going to create? This is also great even for my people who have been working with this for a while. Maybe you're just out of creative juices for the day. You can at least get something kicked off with your data. You can go in and edit that Python as you see very easily and it's a win-win for everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and start this advanced analysis. What that prompt was telling me is it's going to put this on a new sheet for me. It will either give me an in-depth analysis right off the bat, or it may ask me a couple of questions like it's just about to do, saying, which way do you kind of want to go with this analysis? And it's giving me two options here. Analyze the cost and make and maintain rides across different parks. Examine the trends. I like the trends one. So examine the trends and the cost of building and maintaining rides over the years. This should be interesting. All right, so it looks like it has made me a double line chart here where it's got the cost to make a ride, cost to maintain the ride across all of the different years. And then Copilot is giving me a little bit of information about it. And then it's giving me more prompts to do even more. So notice it says stop advanced analysis. That means this advanced analysis is still going. So I'm gonna keep it going. I'm going to compare the cost between different parks. It's probably going to make another visual for me for this. But you can also see up at the top, I can see this Python code being written. You'll see everything in that formula bar just moving around. And I'm actually gonna open this up so we can see it a little bit better. And wow, look at all that. You can go in and make edits as you see fit for my people who are very well versed in Python. And as I said, even if you're not, you can look at this and learn what is this creating? How is this analyzing this data? What is happening in the background of what I am creating? If you want more information or you want to see more examples of how to use Copilot within Excel, 
I highly suggest you head over to Pragmatic Works on Demand Learning Platform. The president of Pragmatic Works, Devin Knight, has a wonderful class about all things Copilot in Excel. You can check it out. We also have, if you are interested in learning more about Copilot in general, we are offering a Copilot boot camp. Head over to our website, check out the next dates for that boot camp. Yours truly typically teaches it. So I am hoping to see you there. And if I don't see you there, I will definitely see you in the next video.